HP race parts are intended only for closed circuit courses and not allowed for use on public roads and highways. BMW Motorrad strongly recommends rider training before modifying the stock software of the S1000RR or HP4. <laughs>
and get more feedback and less intrusive. Is it positive everywhere or are there some turns where you say could could be improved? Definitely out of turn seven and eight, it's just too intrusive. I, didn't, I need to go north and it's just holding me back. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let's get the data on the screen and see what we did. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's have a let's have a look at your fastest lap. All right. Um, you set turn eight. So let's go there. Where you feel it's too intrusive, is that at maximum lean, or is it when you start to pick up the bike? Maximum lean, instantly. 52 degree of lean. I'm comfortable enough to pick up the throttle, but. It just doesn't let me go. I need more slip. I just need it to, I need it to be a little freer and spin freer out of there. Okay. We can change that in the calibration kit. So you're saying with, with the big spike and wheel speed, that's where the DTC is just coming in too strong? Yeah. Okay. We, can, we can fix it for that speed and that lean angle. And we can put it in the different mode. So you start off in race mode with the same settings as you went out on last time. Okay. And then we make the changes for the slick mode. The other thing I saw on the data is that when you downshift at the end of the straight from fifth to third, you jam the throttle open quite a lot and you, the engine reaches the rev limiter, you're actually over pushing it. Does it feel that it pushes in too much into turn one? So you're saying I'm applying the throttle too aggressively, too aggressively after my downshifts? On the downshift. Uh, it's hard to break that old boxer style riding of matching engine and training speed. Yeah. And I know the slipper clutch is... Because you overmatch it, you know, you... Right, I'm over, so I'm giving too much. To push. Right, okay. Because when you release the clutch, the, the revs are way up. Right, and, and the crank's decelerating. Into, uh, right, the crank's decelerating a little faster now. Right, here you see when you, when you blip the throttle, you go all the way up to 75%. The other thing I saw on the data is that when you downshift at the end of the straight from fifth to third, the second left-hand turn here, which is turn six, I'd really like to be able to get the crank to decelerate a little bit faster to help me turn the bike there. Into six. Correct. So, so after the short acceleration between five and six. So third gear there, but what I'd really like to see, just to help me get the nose of the bike down without making a geometry change, yeah. I have four levels of engine braking, right? Right, correct. I'd like to use maximum engine braking for third gear. Okay, let's see where you're at at the moment because we have these four levels so we look into the calibration kit. I would propose to go one step at a time. Okay. And then we do just do third gear. Yes. Actually in this track most of the corners are third where you're rolling in. And I can also put that on the second on the slick mode. Okay. So we make the adjustment of the DTC on slick mode and the adjustment of the engine brake on slick mode. Right. Just for third. All right, let's yeah. go try it. I'm ready. Developed together with 2D, the HP Race Data Logger is like your onboard riding coach. Critical parameters along with the actual layout of the racetrack are recorded from the bike's CAN bus and saved in the HP Data Logger. This is a serious tool for riders serious about improving their performance and skills. The HP Data Logger enables ride data to be saved and analyzed for the purpose of improving lap times by optimizing rider performance on the basis of interpretation of the data right from the motorcycle. The logger permanently covers up to 32 data channels, including speed, engine RPM, throttle twist grip position, brake status front and rear, gear, motorcycles longitudinal lateral acceleration, lean angle, coolant temperature and even GPS location. Recordings from the data logger can be easily transferred to a USB stick for download to a PC loaded with the included software. Based on your comments from before and the data, we made the changes to the engine brake, first of all. Before, in 
in race mode we were at level three. We now go to level four only for third gear in slick mode. Same for the traction control. In race it's the same as before. In slick I modified the points we looked at before at fairly high lean angle, average speed of 150, like turn eight. Right. And I increased the slip, which means you will have it will be less intrusive the traction which is what i need because i need i just need more i needed to, to to spin more allow me to drive off the corner more right now it's just holding me back that's exactly what it will do also in slick mode awesome right so what i'll do i'll connect the cable to the bike play this data into the ecu with the race calibration kit and on you go let's get it on good Right, Nate, I put it in race mode, data's in, you're good to go. Good. This calibration kit includes a software CD and a data cable with USB adapter and 10-pin plug. The Race Calibration Kit 1 is for owners of the 2010 and 2011 S1000RR. This kit is a powerful tuning tool for customizing the parameters of engine management and DTC, and this includes injection, ignition, traction control, shift assistant, speed limit for pit lane, and deleting adaptation values. Adjustments can be made to the HP Power Kit software in the areas of engine management and traction control. Custom adaptations are possible for modified powertrain components, such as exhaust system, air intake, and camshaft profile changes from the stock configuration. Adjustments are also possible in the following settings and maps. Specific tire parameters, such as circumference and profile, to customize the response of the DTC system. Mode-dependent adjustments of lean angle for traction control and wheelie control. A total of nine characteristic maps for adjustment, with custom settings possible for each riding mode. Shift response of shift assistance. Speed limiter for the pit lane. Other functions include the ability to delete adaptation values and restore base settings in the ECU. The Race Calibration Kit 2 is the second generation calibration software evolved for even more settings for the 2012 and later S1000RR and HP4, including dynamic damping control, ABS, engine overrun and launch control, along with customizing the parameters of engine management and DTC. In addition to all of the settings that can be adjusted by the Race Calibration 1 kit, the following is possible with the second generation RCK2 for the S1000RR from 2012 and HP4 only. DDC, or Dynamic Damping Control Adjustment. Launch Control Adjustment. Engine Braking Adjustment, including four engine overrun torque characteristics adjustable for each gear and riding mode. Individual selection of pre-programmed ABS settings of the four riding modes. Traction control fine-tuning. And the ability to save or delete fault memory for diagnosis of component problems. For both race calibration kits, programming is possible only at an authorized BMW Motorrad HP race parts dealer. I mean, the traction control actually has a shorter hesitation now. It allows me. It allows you to spin and go. Spin and go. Spin and go. Doesn't hold you back. Uh, 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 right. Yeah. And then also on the D cell, the crank deceleration having maximum deceleration of the crank, meaning maximum engine braking, allows me to tighten up that left hand turn that I could never do before. Pulls you in instead of pushing you wide. Correct. That crank deceleration loads up the front fork and just helps me tighten up the corner. Which Gives you a better bike position as well to turn. Absolutely. It's just amazing, though. We can just dial that in without having to try different lines, try different... Because I know I'm on the right line. I know I have the right body position, but 
to dial up the engine braking at will is crucial. Good. Now that I've had the opportunity to actually see how much more I can get out of my BMW S1000RR with the BMW HP race parts, i.e. the personal coach, which is what I call the data logger, it's amazing to be able to get the feedback from the data logger which shows how different their, the parameters are than the OEM stock settings of traction control and lean angle sensitivity. Now the power kit minimizes that intrusiveness and allows me to really have the ability to get a little more live out there and get the let the RR move around a little bit more and uh, definitely all I can say is that that six extra pounds of torque feels like an extra tooth on the rear sprocket. It's unbelievable to feel instant gratification from a bolt-up power kit that any BMW S1000RR owner can take full advantage of. I'm really excited to share with you the new HP race parts lineup. This fully accessorized BMW HP4 absolutely gets me over the top excited only because you know you're going out on lightweight go fast parts. HP race levers, lightweight levers, fully adjustable. HP race valve bleeders, quick valve, quick bleeders. The HP race exhaust, which is a four into two into one full titanium system finished off with a titanium silencer. I absolutely love the simplicity of these HP rear sets because now you have an eccentric that rotates and allows you to absolutely take advantage of every millimeter of adjustment vertically and horizontally. It's easy to access. One bolt releases all of it. One bolt tightens it. The all new HP BMW chain tensioners. The new front 2D linear sensor that now allows you to separate the front suspension rebound and compression. You now have the ability through your setup menu to go into the DDC front suspension and separate rebound and compression dampening. You have a plus seven, minus seven, just like the, the 14 levels of traction control found in the DTC. You now also have that on the front suspension now, which you can also find on the rear shock, which allows you to separate rebound and compression. I'm very, 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 very excited about the new HP race seat. This seat is not only functional due to grip and traction, which naturally just less work with your quads to try and stay on the seat from sliding across, making very fast uh, direction changes, but also under acceleration and keeps your weight forward. To help keep your weight forward, it's actually slightly angled up. The benefit of keeping your weight forward is just more weight over the front end. Once you apply that throttle and you start pulling the trigger onto the straightaway, naturally the front end wants to unload. And that just gives you that extra weight transfer and that extra weight balance up front to keep the front end down and uh, just drive off the corner without having to sacrifice the drive from being sitting too far back. If you want to experience how much faster your lap times can be, go to BMW Motorrad USA's website at bmwmotorcycles.com for a full list of your BMW HP race parts dealer.